Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I realized that we haven't already made a review of one of the most important NFT marketplaces, OpenSea. So today we'll be taking a look at the platform and see how you can create and mint your NFTs using it. So if you want to hear more, keep watching and make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions about the video. So here we are on OpenSea and it is an NFT marketplace that jumped into the NFT movement early enough to establish itself as not only the preferred choice for NFT traders, but also the favored destination for NFT developers. So apart from this first mover advantage, OpenSea's success can also be traced to its open world design that allows anyone to create NFTs for free as well as buy and sell them. So as I said, it is the world's first and largest NFT marketplace. So you can first explore more about it uh, and we're going to go immediately to this explore tab and here you can find everything that's going on on the platform. So there is a trending tab with all and top tab with the most popular collections right now and also different categories uh, if you have something specific uh, on your mind. So there is art, there's collectibles, music, sports and uh, basically everything you need uh, if you want to start making or minting your NFTs. So if you want to create your NFTs and you want to sell them on this platform, there are a few steps that you need to take. So the first thing here is that you need to log in uh, or register to the website. And when you do that, uh, you need to set up your wallet. So once you set up your wallet of choice, you can connect it to OpenSea by clicking this little wallet icon in the top right corner. And uh, it looks something like this. Uh, here you can choose uh, the wallet that you want. and. There are different crypto wallet providers to choose from and they we do know that they all serve the same purpose but each one takes a different approach and makes different trade-offs so right here uh, on the help center you can see and you can find out which wallets does OpenSea support so this is a full list of the wallets and some of the most notable ones are MetaMask which is a browser extension and mobile app. So it is Web3's the most popular wallet and one of the oldest players in the industry. Also, there is Coinbase wallet that's available and it is the app that allows users to explore the decentralized web with a decentralized application browser. So you do not need a Coinbase account to use this Coinbase wallet application. Also, there is Trust Wallet, which is a non-custodial mobile wallet that stores your private key locally with an additional layer of security. So those are uh, maybe the most important ones, but however, there is a lot more for you to choose from. So if you do have uh, any uh, that you prefer, you should definitely check out if they are on this list. But however, the most popular and the most used ones are right here. So uh, they are right here listed. And when you choose your wallet, the next step that you need to take is to create your own collection. So you can click on my collections and set up your uh, collection and you can add social links, a description, profile and banner images and set a secondary sales fee. So when you do that, the next thing for you to do is to add your NFTs to it. So you can upload your work, which can be image, video, audio or 3D art. And you can add a title and description and customize your NFTs with properties, stats and unlockable content. So when you do all of that, you just have to list them for sale. So uh, there are some different things that you can choose from. And you can choose between auctions, fixed price listings and declining price listings. So you just have to choose how you want to sell your NFTs and this platform will definitely help you sell them. Uh, so when it comes to selling and buying your NFTs, uh, I just want to talk a bit about the uh, currencies that you can use on the platform. So Right now, the core currencies in OpenSea are, of course, Ethereum, Solana, USDC, and DAI. Also, they support a few other payment tokens, but however, it is not currently possible to use non-crypto currencies like, let's say, dollar and the euro. And right now, for many people, it's easiest to buy crypto using your local currency on a well-known crypto exchange like, for example, Coinbase or FTX. 
and you just have to copy your wallet address in your wallet's browser extension and use the same address to send crypto from your exchange or from another wallet. So you will also may be able to purchase cryptocurrency directly through your wallet extension. Um, here on the help center, you do have different uh, articles and different tutorials uh, that will help you get started. So really, you do have all of the resources uh, if you want to uh, make your NFTs and sell them. You can find everything you need just right here on the website. And that also leads us to uh, one interesting thing, and that is OpenSea Developer Platform. So it is not only for you to make your own NFTs and sell them, it also provides a first-in-class developer platform that's consisting of an API, SDK, and developer tutorials. So you can feel free to browse around and get accl acclimated with developing smart contracts and interacting with NFT data. So there is something for you developers too. And Right here on the platform, you can open your own marketplace. So you can let your users freely trade your NFTs by opening your own marketplace on OpenSea. You can customize it, you can set your own fee, and also when you do that, you will get stats and insights to see how your collectibles are trending. Also, you can run your own crowd sale. You can sell the items in your game to an initial user base of early adopters. So you can even sell off items in your own a token and there are different options for you you can sell packs of items and you can give them to users and you can also create loot boxes also you can power your in-app economy with openc.js you can enable users to create auctions in any currency you can bid on items and create multi-item bundles and you can easily pull in data on your nft items and the last thing here is that you can fetch NFTs with your uh, API. So OpenSea provides a REST API for fetching NFT items based on a set of parameters. So right now, applications can display NFTs, activity, and accounts. So there are the much, much different things that you can do on this platform uh, apart from just uh, making your NFTs and selling them or minting them. And right here with the stats, you can see that it is definitely the uh, most popular uh, marketplace right now with more than 18 million digital goods and more than 2 million collections and more than $10 billion market volume. So uh, this is, as I said, the largest and the most used marketplace of all. And there is something in the news, very interesting thing uh, that I found. So that OpenSea launches Seaport Marketplace protocol, which is allowing NFT bartering. So that is also an amazing thing. Uh, and they announced that they are launching a Web3 marketplace protocol for safely and efficiently buying and selling NFTs. They said that this marketplace protocol, which is called Seaport, will give users the option to obtain NFTs by offering assets other than just payment tokens like, let's say, Ethereum. So according to the platform, a user can now agree to supply a number of Ethereum, ERC-20, ERC-721, and ERC-1155 items in exchange for an NFT and implying bartering a combination of tokens as a method of payment. So in addition, Seaport uses users can specify which criteria such as certain traits of NFT artwork or pieces part of a collection they want when making offers. So the platform will also support tipping uh, as long as the amount does not exceed that of the original offer. So uh, this is a very interesting thing that will happen in the near future and that's something that's coming soon to the platform. So as I said, if you are into NFTs and you want to uh, make your own NFTs and sell them, uh, you should definitely start with uh, OpenSea because it is by far the largest and most popular mar marketplace there is. So that's it for today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching and as I said, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below with your thoughts on the video. And at the end, I just want to say that I'm not a financial advisor and any investments you make on your own liability. So. Thanks for watching and see you soon.